Good morning, folks. We have several items to hit here today. The solar watch is set to rise significantly this week. We've got a new one from Dr. Robitaille over at Sky Scholar. James Webb reveals dusty galaxies. We have the first Irish solar storm risk map and solar forcing in China. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that there were no big solar flares or eruptions, but that may change here in the next few days. The sunspot number is about to surge based on the incoming spots, and there are others already on the disk. You can see that there are several active regions here. The departing southern spot is large, but the rest are mostly smaller and lacking complexity. The incoming group just cresting over the limb is a monster. This one has several large cores smashed together in the heart of the active region, and it has a high baseline energetic state. When we look at 94 angstroms, which focuses on extreme ultraviolet and X-ray production, we can see how that sunspot group coming in on the south is the brightest feature, could produce excess activity this week. Folks, we've got a new one from Sky Scholar, my favorite astrophysics channel. Dr. Robitaille continues breaking down the issues with mainstream star science as he takes on white dwarfs in this latest video. Highly recommend watching it and subscribing to the channel. Up next, we're going to James Webb, and we find its infrared cameras blowing down the door on the dusty nature of galaxies and how they always form patterns. Figured this one would be fun since our last two special evening videos dealt with the impact of galactic dust on our solar system and the Earth. In infrared, you can see how dust actually dominates the viewing regions rather than the stars of the galaxies themselves. Folks, we've got the first geoelectric hazard map for Ireland. Being at high latitude makes Ireland vulnerable to solar storms much more so than places at mid-latitude. And we can see the difference between a KP8 and KP9 solar storm here. Most of the country would be at risk during the peak geomagnetic activity levels, which again, at that latitude, is not at all unexpected. Lastly here, folks, a good confirmation of what we've seen many times before. The monsoonal impact of the sun on China and other parts of the world, for that matter, has been repeatedly demonstrated with statistics, but now they have nailed down the mechanism by which the sun causes that extreme flooding or drought in various parts of the country. If only they would put this into their climate models. Folks, we've previously mentioned that our store would be closing down soon as we transition everything to Observer Ranch. Cat has set the date of February 9th. We're less than a week away, so go grab our latest book or our children's books or any of our other gear now before we go full scale towards opening our physical venue. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.